Hey buddy, we're back. Things have definitely changed on this lot since last time. Um, we're making great progress. Just wasn't able to get a lot on video. Been pretty busy. But uh, we're, I'm gonna be finishing off this lot here today. It is the plan. That lot is pretty much done. Uh, I got a little bit more work to do on the swale in between the two lots. We got a little stock pile top soil up there in the back but um this one i'm going to go through and finish finish it off and knock out these humps and stuff like that and we'll smooth it out we ended up taking down that huge white oak that was right there where the dozer is this one ended up staying and uh this one right here uh ended up coming out i'll try to put up maybe a couple pictures of uh the one that we had over here i got a couple pictures of josh and micah cutting up the stump she was a beast that's for sure uh it took us almost uh it was like a day and a half just to get rid of those two trees to cut them up haul them out of here and you know by the time we got the wood to the pulp yard and logs and uh got rid of the stumps it was almost two days it's a lot of work just for those two trees but like the one had like one main stem and then it had like the one over here had like five kind of coming up out of it four or five it was it was crazy definitely the biggest tree i've taken down was that one right there so far most trees i mean even these right here that's a big one for around here and this is a big one for around here but anyways uh so I'm going to hop on the dozer and keep finishing this off. Uh, we had Lane out here yesterday, our buddy with the Bobcat um, skid steer. He was out here helping slick this off. He finished, you know, I rough graded it and then he slicked it off with the um, skid steer. So Willie and Micah are out on another job doing some grinding and uh it's me and josh here today so lane might pop in i don't know we'll see he's at school doing some school stuff so got the dozer warming up here love this thing absolutely love it i wish i'd have bought one a long time ago i didn't i mean my brother actually bought it and then i'm paying for half of it from him but Got the old 130 and then Lane's uh, Bobcat over there. So, all right, I'll get to it.
Alrighty, so we uh contractor just came and he approved. He said everything looks good on this lot. We got it all slicked off. We got this back side all tracked in over here with the uh dozer. We rolled all this in this hill. They'll, they'll put up the silt fence and stuff like that, but um so this is pretty much done and then the surveyor just pulled out of here uh i don't know 30 40 minutes ago and laid out the house then we're doing a two set off two foot offset so the actual house is going to be right there and uh we came we're gonna dig out two feet so they can lay their brick block and all that kind of stuff this tree is going to have to come out we thought the house was going to be more this way we just did some rough measurements i thought this is like a little deck and porch we thought it was gonna be closer to here but as you can see that's that's gotta go it's a little too close so we're gonna end up putting some of the uh overburden uh you know what we dig out of here we're gonna put some over here and then um we're gonna put some in the back depending on how much we have but this is where we stop right here. We're gonna stop right here at this line. Goes to here. All this is garage. That's garage, uh, porch, all that kind of stuff. So, kind of give you an idea of what's going on. Just talked to Micah and Josh, or uh, the Micah and Willie. They're surviving, they're doing good. So, we're gonna get digging here. Let's go with the, uh, right here at that first pin, that lowest point there. Yep.
what we do is, or how I do it, is to go around the edge and dig the edge out first, the right height, depth, I guess would be correct. But you can see, you know, I mean, it, it's all close. I mean, we'll get in there and smooth it out, but so right there and then up through there is the correct depth. And then over here, some of it kind of rolled in the ditch already, but uh, you know, I dug that one out so I could sit here and just bail as much out as possible. Um, so I can, I can follow this line here and this line here and kind of eyeball it is the idea of doing that. But um, so that's a good start on it. And I will, uh, I'll start bailing over to Josh. I think I'm gonna put half of it over there and the other half over here on this side, this top side, just so they don't have to move it around as far when they do their backfilling. But that is my plan.
am just about wrapped up with it. Uh, Josh already left. He's getting kind of late. trying to get some of this dirt out away from the edge there i'm up on the, the pile from the that we cut out from the house pad right there uh, that's it all cut out uh we got a bunch of material over there and um i'm just getting away from this edge so if somebody wanted to drive a skid steer or walk along this edge it'd be a lot easier to get through right there. i would go this way but it
Well, I'm tired. <laughs> well, I just finished. Uh, just got everything moved over here. All the equipment down there. They came in and uh, maybe put in this house here. Uh, stake this one out. Um, they're not sure if this this is the plan they're going to go with on this one, but it's pretty good size. 80 by 80 is the footprint on it, but it's awful close to that tree, and they're really wanting to try to keep that tree. So I don't know if it's going to happen, but if it was me, I'd probably just take the big old tree down. But cost them a lot of money later on down the road. But got this kind of packed in the best I could, shed it this way, you know, so the water can come off. For the most part, it's not perfect, but it'll help. The top's kind of packed in. Got a little bit of topsoil right there, but yeah, starting to cool off finally. Sun's starting to go down. <laughs> well, there she be. Hit a lot of rock in there. Uh, all this right here is going to be garage. I don't remember if I told you or not, but I'm tired. I'm going home. Thanks for watching the video, buddy. I hope you guys enjoy this one. It's a little bit different. Uh, a little bit of grading and kind of uh, over the past week and a half of uh, just little clips that I had here and there. So uh, thanks for watching the video. Have a good one, everybody.